I grew up, grade school was in Cincinnati, Ohio. And then I went to high school up in Columbus. I wasn't particularly motivated to go to college while all my friends were looking at Ohio State and Notre Dame. I was kind of just that lost kid that didn't know where to go. And a friend of mine was on delayed entry for the Navy. So I joined him. We signed up under the old buddy program. And the rest was 26 years worth of naval lore. It was more fun than I should have had. I started off in my first ship was USS Ranger out of San Diego, California. I also served on the USS Independence, USS Sterrett, USS Constellation, and the Reagan. I loved aircraft carriers. I was also stationed in Atsugi, Japan, Corpus Christi, Texas, Pensacola, and I retired in 2011 as a senior chief out of Lemoore, California. Well, here at UCF, I'm the lead school certifying official, which means that any student that's using VA education benefits will submit their information to my staff and myself. We process it, verify it against UCF, and then send it to the VA who's going to make the payments to the students. We have over 3,000 students at UCF that are veterans or military connected dependents and spouses. Uh, of those 3,000, this past semester, over 2,300 were using some form of VA education benefits. That's 2,300 students that we're tracking with a staff of work study students and myself. And uh, it's a lot of work, but when we do our end of semester graduation ceremony and you get to see the student that's coming across the stage and receiving their veteran stole to wear a commencement and you finally get to put a face to a name that you've seen for so many semesters, it's a great feeling. We host a number of different opportunities for our military connected students. We've got the luxury of having three big study rooms in the back where they can use for individual study, group study, They've got smart boards if they need to everybody log in and sync up, do Zoom calls. We've got great Wi-Fi here if the students need it for their laptops. We have a programming advisor on our staff who hosts things like they put together today's veteran ceremony at Memory Mall. We've got lunch and learns where students can come over. Last month, it was financial literacy. Next month, Disney's hire program is going to come on board and they're gonna do individual resume reviews, working on building that total student. If we just did their certifications, got their VA money, we've put the check in the block, but we also know we're capable of so much more than that, and so much more is needed in the student's life for them to succeed. I had a weird transition when I left active duty. I left work on Friday in uniform, and I came back to the same desk at the same job as a civilian on Tuesday. So I didn't have a lot of that kind of stress in my transition, but what I immediately noticed is that everybody just saw me as that civilian in the corner, not the senior chief anymore. And I didn't have PT three times a week with my sailors. I didn't have any sailors, I was a civilian now. So that's when I started having some transition issues. A friend of mine in Las Vegas said, Matt, Here's this really cool veterans group, and if you sign up, you get a free t-shirt. And I thought, oh, okay, I like free t-shirts. And then I started reading into the team. And Team Red, White, and Blue spoke to what I needed as a person. I was missing that core group of people that I could get together with. Team Red, White, and Blue is an amazing organization. I love these folks. I've been with them for 12 years. They are a nonprofit who focuses on the veteran in the community. It was originally founded as a way to connect service members that were leaving the service back into the community post 9-11. Um, Mike Irwin, the founder of it, saw that there was a need for that connection because veterans were leaving active duty. You lose your family, you lose your your shipmates, your battle buddies, and all of a sudden you're by yourself in the civilian world and it's scary. So the team was founded and that was our mission, to connect veterans to the community through physical activity, social interaction, community service. It was printed on every t-shirt. And that's where we focused. Over the years, it has changed into an organization that focuses on the total person concept. Everything from your sleep patterns, 
to your dietary needs. Physical activity, social interaction, community service, still pillars that we build around. But now we try and incorporate that into every person's everyday life. One piece of advice I give to everyone, I've given it to my daughters, I'm giving it to my grandson now. If you go active duty, get as much education as you can. I didn't. So that's not a regret, that's a shortcoming on my life goal. The opportunities are amazing.